Okay, this slide then is a blue mold, which is penicillium. Penicillium is a genus. Um, the genus is actually a difficult genus to classify organisms into because molds often don't have any sexual stages. So the sexual stages then we're using to identify what division the organisms are in. Um, when there were no sexual stages, then a lot of these guys were misidentified and placed into the wrong categories, even the wrong um, divisions in many cases. Okay. So we'll go in here. This is just a bunch of hyphae. There are no sexual spores in here, so we're not going to be able to see a basidium. We're not going to be able to see ascus, and we're not going to be able to see a zygosporangium. But we will look in here and look at the asexual spores underneath the um, compound scope. So here is the 4x objective. We can see just all those hyphae and then um, on those hyphae we can actually see a lot of those dots. Those are the asexual spores. Okay. Here's our 10x. We can start to see those a little bit better. I'm only going to go up under 40 although you know, 100x would even be better, but we'll just stop at 40x in this case. So here you can see those little broom-like things with the teeny tiny spores on the ends of those. Those spores are occurring in chains. Those chains of spores are called conidia, which you don't have to memorize or anything. And conidia is typically in molds a characteristic of um, the ascomycota although you can't guarantee that it's an ascomycota just because it has those chains of spores in those conidia. Okay. And that's penicillium.